Where did our nice warm weather go? Heading out into uh, the garden today. I want to plant in the garden so bad. Like it's, when are we gonna be able to plant? I watch all these YouTube videos of people in different climates than me and they seem like they're so far ahead in the garden and we're still, we're still getting down below freezing most nights and uh it's such a tease during the day because it gets warm it's like whoa look at this crazy hair anyways the the daytime temperatures here are getting warm like we're getting up to 50s and 60s uh, up into the 70s you put on a t-shirt you're out you know out in the sun enjoying the weather and then as soon as the sun starts to go down it gets so cold we're i think we're only like seven degrees today and uh our nighttime lows we might even get snow today our nighttime lows are still going down to like two and three degrees and over the next week i think we're gonna dip down into freezing again so it's still too cold here to to really plant anything outside but to occupy myself and find something to do i'm gonna make a new willow what are they called? Peony supports. I use them to put over my poppies. So I'm gonna go out into the back, um, out here past the, the pond. There's a spot that we have a bit of a wet area where dogwood and some willow like to grow. And I need some really flexible bendy branches to create this um, peony support, or for me, it's a, a poppy support. I do have some peonies that are starting to uh, pop up and I'll show you what uh, what they're looking like in my garden. They're only, this is only their second season in the garden, so they don't really do a whole lot till about the third year, but they're starting to come back out this year. And um, I'm gonna create one of these uh, peony supports. It's like an obelisk or a, I don't know, I'll have to look up exactly what it's called, but um, Let's go out into the bush back here and see what we can find. Hello, Ramona. I mistook you for a dream. The fishies are all awake in the pond. Say hello to Ramona. She's just swimming by. There they are. Hello, Ramona. I found that song on uh, Epidemic Sound that I use for uh, for the videos, and a lot of YouTube creators use uh, Epidemic Sound for their music. And uh, Hello, Ramona is one of my favorite songs, so that's where she got the name from. Oh, that wind is so cold. This is the section. You can see it's quite wet. Oh, where the dogwood is, it's very wet. Again, we've had a couple of days of rain, so it's made everything bud up. The trees are starting to get lots of buds on them. But back here is willow and dogwood because it likes the, really likes this wet area. So I'm gonna uh, try and get some dogwood without getting soaked. Well, I didn't get much of that on video because it was a bit wet and the dogwood that I had in the back of our property really isn't very straight. So when you're making these, um, hair sticking out, <laughs> when you're making these garden supports, you need, um, you need branches that are fairly straight so that you can, uh, weave them in around the base as well as make the structure and uh, you'll see as i get going on this structure uh, using the dogwood and the willow so i found some willow that uh, i've been eyeing up in the ditch down the road from us so i'm just walking back to my place after uh, harvesting some willow it's nice and straight if you're lucky enough to have a willow tree or grow willow on your property that's the best uh that's the best stuff to use but uh 
I just have to go and source it. Uh, we've got lots of it in the ditches. It likes the wet, the wet environment. So you'll see it along the sides of the roads and and down some of the trails when you're out and about. Always have a pair of uh, pruners in your car. You never know when you're going to need them. So I have this bundle. You can see the willow is more of a yellow color and the dogwood is your classic red. And they're very flexible. So that's why I'm using this type of, uh, this type of wood or bush or shrub, whatever you want to call it, to make these supports with. But yeah, if you have a willow tree, which I don't, <laughs> Uh, if you have a willow tree or if you grow willow somewhere on your property, the best uh, the best stuff to use. So I'm going to get set up and uh, I'll show you how I create one of these. To get back the life I used to know. in the garage I have a bucket as my my grid or my template and I just filled it with soil and this is the diameter that I'm going to end up with on my peony support so I trimmed up a few branches just took off the extra pieces on the end and then I just kind of test them to see what kind of flexibility they have and what kind of shape they're actually going to take once you start putting them into my jig. Um, professionals that do this regularly that actually grow willow and uh, make these uh, st garden structures out of willow have an actual jig out of wood and they have holes put in them. But uh, DIY, do it at home. We're using a bucket full of dirt. So I'm going to take my first support and I've kind of got the idea for the shape that I want to have it when it's finished. So I think I'm going to cut off a little bit more on the end and I'm going to start in one side and put it down into the dirt and then kind of shape it over to the other side so that you get your first kind of shape. So it's going to have this uh, oval rounded top on it. And I'm going to start with one. You can, if you don't have long enough pieces of willow or dogwood, you can take two pieces together. Let me show you on a skinnier ones. So you take the, the two pieces together and you put them opposite ends and kind of twist them around each other so that they are locked together. And then you can curve them into the shape that you want. So if you need ones that are a little bit, that have a little bit more support, you can do it that way. The dogwood I find has, uh, has lots of support. So we'll find another one here, maybe this one. And see how that's not going to quite be long enough for that piece. So let's try, let's try this one. That looks pretty good. I should be able to get almost the same shape out of this one. I'm just gonna kind of soften this piece up here. And then I'm gonna start on this side and then just crossing it over to here. I'm gonna mark where I wanna cut this off. So I'll turn the bucket around so you can see that you've got your overlap at the top and I'm gonna bring it down to here and I want it to go into the bucket probably to about here. So I'm gonna cut it right about there. And then take that end and put it into my bucket. Okay, so I've got my first two pieces in and once we get it all together, it'll start to hold it and you can shape it a bit more once you get more pieces in here around the edges. So now I'm going to come in with some smaller pieces and we're going to make the loops on the side. Can you help my helper today? Yeah. 
And then my second piece is gonna go in pretty much with the same spot as the first two pieces went. So then you've got one on this side and it comes up the middle and then spin it around and I'm gonna make the same structure down into this, these two same spots over on this side. Is that the piece I need for the next yes. one? Yes. <laughs> it's not as flexible there. No, this one's not as very flexible. So let's try one that's a little more flexy. That's better. And just put it down into the same spot you started with. Push it down till it's about level with your branch on that side. So then we've kind of got a structure that looks like this. As you get more pieces, we will be bringing these together and it'll be, it'll all come together. You'll see how it goes. How's that one look? That looks like a good piece. Can I pull one in? I just don't know where my next one's gonna go. There? Right here. So now we're doing the same hoops, but with the profile of the second piece that you put in. So they go down into the same spot as this one. We need one more to do the other side. So Hang on my snippers. Measure it here to see how far down. Cut it about there where that thing is. Awesome. We're gonna cut it on a bit of an angle so that it goes into the dirt opposite side of this one. Push this down. That looks pretty. And create the profile there. So now we have our basic structure. We've got the two in the middle, which we will fasten at the top. And we've got our four out on the edges. Now we're gonna add some into the, uh, along the sides. So to add your pieces to weave with, you want uh, as thin and as flexible pieces as you can find. And you start with the butt end of your weave. And I'm gonna start with it here. So I'm gonna put it behind and hold it there and then just weave it in through the pieces. Put the butt end through here. Onto, so this is your first piece and then your next piece is gonna come around this way. To maneuver it in and around. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain, beauty in the Monday. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. to this stage. Uh, I've got as much uh, weave of willow and dogwood in here that, uh, that I can fit. 
I am no professional weaver by any means. And so it's fun to make and I'm having, uh, you know, being creative for my own garden. So to finish off the sections at the top, just to give it a bit more style and security, I am tying off these cross pieces with some of the really thin, flexible pieces of willow. So I'm gonna wrap those around and try and create a beautiful little design with my weave. And I'll show you how it turns out once I get these, uh, these little pieces weaved on to hold the crossbars in. Well guys, there you go. I have my uh, poppy support completed and it's in the garden. It's pretty cold out here today and uh, until I can get out into the garden and garden full time, I'll keep myself busy creating these wonderful little art projects in the garden. For now, until I grow willow myself or have a beautiful willow tree to use, I'll keep sourcing my own willow from uh, the side of the road and the back of the property. The dogwood and the willow is very flexible and that's what you need to make these uh, willow weaving projects. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've done willow weaving. Do you grow willow and uh, have you tried any of these projects before? So I think it turned out great. The one from last year has really held up well and uh, I did have some twinkle lights in them last year so maybe that'll be uh, the little add-on that I'll do later tonight but uh, I had so much fun making these. Thanks for watching. Leave me the comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Bonnie. This is Artist in a Garden. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.